Hello folks, you join me back again at Hellyford. This is the second part of the video. Um, I've already done the introduction. Um, it's become quite overcast now. To be honest with you, the, uh, I don't know whether you can make that out. But, uh, the spot I've chosen to fish today is um, a run and it it's, uh, comes off the slow area of the river, comes over some um, small boulders in the river and then it, you've got a nice run and they sort of this side of the river the run is and as it goes on the other side is more even the the whole river where i'm fishing at the moment right across is no more than two or three foot deep and um, i've been catching uh, quite a few chub um they're not very big fish uh, by any means you know most people would call them chublets i think the big biggest is about a pound um i just had a lovely day so it was about seven ounces it was a, a real beaut you know one of those ones you used to catch years ago and uh, when you used to catch really big bags of fish um i know the guys now at heady fed when they're fishing the matches they're getting uh, really big bags of uh, dace and roach um, I think if there had been a bit of colour in this water, in this peg today, it may, might have made a, quite a bit of difference. Um, but that said, I'm still catching, so um, I'm going to carry on. I uh, just had a bit of a calamity, by the way. It was uh, a malad duck, a female duck, and uh, she had two, um, let me see, they're not quite mature ducks with her and uh, they were floating around by me for hours on end and I know as soon as you give them a bit of food they just won't leave you alone so I didn't um, encourage them too much with their food obviously when I'm packing up they can have whatever they want then that uh, I don't use but while I'm fishing I don't tend to encourage birds to um, come around while I'm fishing because they can be a bit of a nuisance because there's quite a few swans in this area as well um, so, like I said, I usually wait till I finished, and um, I'll give them a few free offerings. But uh, back to these uh, mallard ducks. The one chick, he went for my bait as I was bringing it in, and he did manage to catch all of it. Well, the mother went absolutely ballistic, and she was chasing it around, trying to free it, obviously and it caught in her own feathers. It, she managed to pull it out, um, the hook that is, and it pulled into her own feathers. And as you know, everyone, that I use a barbless hook anyway, but if you've got a firm hold on anything, even if it's a barbless hook, you've got a job to get it out. So um, with that, um, I managed to get the duck right into the side and it was flapping everywhere. And I did unhook it, so, the duck has gone on its way with its two uh, juvenile uh, chicks, if you like. You know, they're not fully grown, as you can see yet, that, but they're, they're certainly not in chick stage. So with that, I'm going to carry on. I'll catch you with later. Okay, folks, I've got a, got a fish on now again. Just bringing it in. There you go. It's another lovely days. Okay, um, another bit of uh, advertisement again today. Uh, I bought myself one of these Matrix catapults. It's got a nice pouch on it, so you can uh, actually use it for ground bait if you want to. But I've been using it for maggots and casters. Um, on there is elastic, which I believe they use for poles. Um, it's a looks like an 18 to 20 elastic for, uh, that you use in pole fishing. But what I can tell you about it is, it certainly groups all the bait together. So. I know um, you can watch videos of how it performs and that, as far as I'm concerned it's a very good investment and if you fish for carp or whatever fish you fish for 
the groups are baked up nicely. There you go again folks, it's a nice little chocolate this time, about 5 ounces I'd say. Just a little perfect that fish was. So, he's in the net. So it's turned out to be um, quite a good day again. I can honestly say, I fished here four times now, and um, a teddy for daddies, and of the four times, I've had three very enjoyable days. The one day wasn't quite so. I did have a few fish, but uh, they wasn't enough to really keep me interested. But this has been one of those days where it hasn't been prolific by any means, but the fish have been in and out, you know, you get a few and then they disappear put a bit more bait in, then they come back and that's how it's sort of been for most of the day. Um, I don't think I've got a huge bag of fish, but I'd be pretty disappointed if I didn't finish, finish with 10 pound plus. There's a little something for you uh, purists out there. Um, the last chub I caught, I had a look down his mouth to see if it is actually eating my ground bait or any maggots or casters that I've been looking out and uh, just to say there's a dog just um, coming by the side of me here just to say um, that the chub was absolutely full of the, the moss that's growing on the stones in the water so yeah so uh, I hope the dog doesn't decide to go in the water by the side of me. Just keeping my eye out, folks. It looks like they've uh, gone on their way now. So I'm not too disappointed about that. I don't think anyone who goes fishing would be either because. Uh, you know, it's a massive stretch of water here, it's a good few miles long. And, uh, people seem to come from nowhere, and there's lots of areas where they can access the water. But they want the dog to go swimming right where you're fishing. And, uh, you know, a lot of us have to do a lot of travelling to get up to this river. I come up from Cardiff myself, so it's around about 50 odd miles for me. Uh, and we all know how expensive petrol is. Then you've got the bait on top, and really you don't want to be disturbed by uh, people who've got no consideration. And you're with that. Okay, um, today I've switched between red maggot, double red maggot on the hook, and single caster and double caster. And to be honest with you, there hasn't been a lot of difference between the two baits. I can't say that the casters have picked out better fish, because that would be a lie. Um, they've equally been as good today, so there's a double red maggot on the hook. Uh, the fishing, like I said, has been, it's been a pleasant day, it hasn't been a fantastic day. Um, I'm still looking for, I know I'm being greedy now, sort of a 40 pound bag of fish. I used to get them in the old days, but they were like, um, when I say old days, about 40 years ago now. The fish were a lot bigger then. Um, I, like I said before in previous videos, I used to fish up uh, Liswen area, and the fish were sort of pound and a half, two pounds all the time, and, uh, and you'd get the odd three and a half pound ones. You wouldn't catch small ones like you had in Eddyford. But it all bodes well for this area because, you know, if there's small ones here, there's got to be bigger ones, so. And I know that um, in matches that uh, the guys do get the bigger fish, you know, two pound, three pound fish. And pleasure anglers who um, go out to especially catch a bigger chub, they do get five or six pound ones, so. They're in you, but... If uh, if I had a five or six pound one on the line I've got on, so I've only got three pound lines straight through to a size 14 hook, I think I would be struggling because the current is quite strong and you do need uh, 
bully them a bit because if you don't they'll take you everywhere and um, chances are then because there's quite a few bushes around they're just gonna bust your line up so I'll carry on do a bit more fishing and uh, hopefully my battery won't run out and uh, I can show you what I've caught Hey okay, guys, this is a thing I usually do when I'm on the river uh, in my videos. I try to show you the actual swim that I'm fishing in. So I'll swing you round. As you can see, it looks a um, pretty interesting swim by anyone's standards. I've not um, caught any big fish in here, but there's nothing to say that they're not here. Swim is about two and a half foot deep. That's plenty big enough to hold any size fish. Thing you haven't got, you haven't got any colour in the water, so I think you could safely say with a little bit of colour in here, this is fish quite considerably better than what it have today. So um it's quite surprising this place, Heliford, because there's so many people crossing the bridge there on um their bicycles. It's like, uh, well, it seems to be thriving if you look at how many people's around you. But uh, I know the business businesses are not. So it seems like uh, the businesses that are here in Hereford uh, not what the people want by the look of it. Obviously, you wouldn't. I wouldn't have thought you'd go wrong with any food stores here. Yeah? I know there's an Asda's in Hereford. But uh, there certainly seem to be plenty of people around you. Anyway, with that, enough of politics and uh, I'll get back to my fishing. Okay guys, um, I'm not going to be here much longer now, so I'm going to bring my net in and I'll show you what I've got before the battery runs out yet again. So um, it's going to be an early finish for me to take the pack up and go home. Um, I haven't got any drinks for me, the drinks I've left at home, which is not a good thing to do when the sun's out like it is at the moment. I've been lucky that most of the day it's been overcast, but uh, the sun is out um, in its full sunshine now, and uh, it's beating down on the water. So I'll bring them in and I'll show you. Okay, folks, so I've got a fish here now. I've been on my land in it. See if I can tip it around. I don't know if you're going to be able to make them up properly. Okay, folks, uh, as I was saying just now, um, I know I had, didn't have my mic in my hand, but there's the fish. I brought them in. Um, it's probably about nine. Possibly ten pound there. There's some better chub there, some lovely dates. Little chubblers. Lots of little chubblers in there. So there you go, not a bad day's uh, fishing, uh, and to be honest with you, I know I can do a lot better than that, so let's look forward to the next time now, catch you again on the bank, and uh, if you would care to subscribe to my channel, um, click on the red button, if you want to see more of my videos, click on the um, notifications bell, and you'll get notified when I've got an up and coming video coming out. And if you give me a thumbs up for a like. Thank you all again for watching my videos and catch you again on the bank. Bye for now.